how to use a catch pole. A catch pole is a tool that we use to move a potentially dangerous dog or a dog who's actively acting aggressively from one place to the other. The idea is that we can have the dog on the catch pole and keep that dog far enough away from us that we're safe. So first I'm going to tell you about the features of the catch pole and then I'll talk about how to use one. So on the catch pole there are two rubber grips for your hands so that you can hang on tight to that catch pole. Here you'll see a rubber area that's red. This area is for the dogs when they bite on it. So oftentimes when dogs are on a catch pole, they'll bite on the pole. This red rubber area um, helps protect their teeth so they don't break their teeth on the metal pole. Inside the catch pole is a, is a cord, a metal cord, coated wire out on the noose end, and it goes through the pipe and out the end. So to tighten the noose, we pull this string back. To loosen it, there's a mechanism at the end of the handle that we pull out. Pull back, and it opens it. Okay, and so that's how the catch pole works. Pull the cord to tighten, pull back the mechanism to loosen. Now, everybody should know where the catch pole is located. You should have at least one catch pole in your shelter, if not one for every kennel and one in the clinic. And everyone on staff should know where they're stored. And everyone on staff should know how to use them. Because you never know if you're going to be the last person here to help somebody who's in trouble with a dog. So everyone needs to know where they're located and everyone needs to know how to use it. Okay, now before I talk about how to use it, I want to talk about storage because it's really important to maintain the integrity of your pole that you store it properly. And so the best way to store it is to pull the cord when you're done with it so that the neck loop is as tight as it can be, okay? And now we have all this cord coming out. But there's a little hole in the pipe. You want to tuck the rest of that cord into that little hole. And that is how you properly store a catch pole. Nose loop, should, neck loop should be as tight as can be, and the remaining cord be tucked through the hole. Right? And then you can either hang it by that loop, you can hang it on hooks on the wall, or you can even set it in the corner as long as it's stored this way. The problem with not storing it correctly is you can damage the integrity of the pole. If you store it like this with the noose out like that, you can be store it like this or worse, you store it on the floor like that, you're going to damage the integrity of the cord. And if that cord gets kinked, when you go to try to use it, you're not going to be able to either close it or open it once it's on the dog. And that's never okay. So you always want to make sure you store it properly. Before you put it away, pull the cord all the way in, tuck the excess cord into the hole, okay, and store it that way. Now, when you get it out of storage to use it, pull it out and open the noose. Now, I like to make sure it works properly, so I like to do that another time to make sure it's all working fine. Now, the way you catch a dog with a catch pole, whether the dog is loose or in a kennel, is you want to wait for the dog to be stationary, not running around. If he's in a kennel, you want him to just be still. And then you slowly and smoothly move the catch pole towards the dog. Now, I like to look at the dog's head and determine the size of his head because I want to make the noose big enough that his head will fit in there, but not so big that if he's flailing around, he gets a limb stuck. Okay? Now, there's two ways to put the noose over the dog's head. You can come at the dog like this and then gently pull the cord. Don't yank it because then you might end up choking the dog and then you're going to be panicking because he's going to be flipping out 
and you, you won't really have the wits about you to pull the cord. Or you might pull it and release it completely. Okay? So you want to either go at his head like that, at his face, or you can come in from above, from the back. So you go over like that and then pull the cord. And now you have the dog on the catch pole and you can move him from one place to the other safely. Once you get that dog to where you're going to move him, then all you have to do is release and get the noose off the dog. And then of course, once you're done with it, you're going to get it ready and properly store it back in the place where you found it so everyone can uh, find it with the next time they need it. So that's how we use a catch pole. Using the catch pole to get a dog out of the cage. If you have to use a catch pole to get a dog out of the cage, go get your catch pole from the storage area. Remember it should be stored like this with the neck noose tight and the cord tucked into its hole. Pull that cord out, release the mechanism to loosen the neck noose. But before you even try, check it one more time to make sure it works. Pull, release. Once you're confident that your catch pole is operational, get that noose to about the right size, and go ahead and catch it. Now we're going to look at how to use the catch pole to get a dog out of the run. So you're going to get your catch pole ready. You're going to open that door a little bit. Make sure you put your foot in the bottom to make sure the dog can't bust out. You're going to slowly and smoothly move that catch pole towards that dog. If the dog likes the noose or the pole, do not pull back. Slowly get that noose over the dog's head. Once it's around his neck, gently pull your cord, and now you have the dog. 